Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It has been said that Mr. Dakin, soon to become a bishop, has a perpetual smile that hides a more sinister intention, and that he has learnt how to play the game with the Church of England and won the top prize of becoming a bishop. Certainly, he knows how to keep in with Mr. Sentimu. His reaction of surprise at the announcement of being made a bishop is not at all credible, and this, along with other recent selections, shows that our suffragans have proved themselves to be well below par. But let us be generous, and let us be honest. What is the problem with having another conservative evangelical bishop? After all, they are only human, aren't they? They understand the problems of the people as well as the next man. It is time for the ordinary people of Britain to put aside their worries about the evangelicals and embrace the warmth and compassion of their alliance. Your fears will be found to be unfounded and fruitless. Cast cares aside and drink in the trough of biblical fundamentalism. Shower in the waters of certainty and bathe in the pool of cleanness. For when you do, be assured that you will become pure and unblemished, apart from that cellulite that won't go away and that fat about your belly. But that aside, put aside your fears of the right wing in our midst. Think instead of the joy that will be yours when you throw away that heavy burden of humility and become free to shout from every rooftop, I am saved, I am saved, Jesus has saved me. And you will be able to cast your eyes upon the unwashed and the unkempt who are there for you to save from their unhappiness and sin. The benefits of embracing the panoply of conservative Christianity are many. At last you will be able to walk hand in hand with the conservative Anglo-Catholics, though you might have to stand a little apart if you are still a bit tainted. But worry not, soon you will share their values and understand the place that God has set aside for you and all your friends. As you grab for your penny and the tea urn, you can look with wonder on the power of God working in every syllable that pours forth from the mouths of God's male leadership and feel blessed by every sound and rule that they reveal to you. Gone will be the uncertainties of thinking for yourself. Now a rule book and a tome of interpretation will be your guide. Leviticus will become your touchstone and the wishy-washy past will be wiped away. You will be freed from independent thought and released from the mental anguish of thinking things through. At last, a simple and ready answer will be yours for every situation that Satan puts in your way. Rejoice and embrace the conservative evangelicals and praise God for the coming of the new bishop, Mr. Dakin. See you soon.